What's up, fellow Clashers? It's Apollyon here, and we are going to go ahead and focus on a couple of ground attacks. And when I say a couple, I mean just a couple, like two. Because most of the attacks that we used uh, on this war were all air attacks. We're doing the H, uh, HPBB, which is the uh, healers, and only three of them, uh, Pekka's baby dragons and bowlers so using baby dragons in the place of hogs they do a lot um, of cleanup like as the attack is going on so you'll see what happens here he starts to use the baby dragons to, to do some funneling along with i think a couple of wizards to go ahead and get that uh, 12 o'clock uh, get that uh, builder hut there uh, get that 12 o'clock entry completely nice and funneled so the pekkas and the rest of the kill squad can be dropped in there there we go with the pekkas being dropped the healers right behind them we'll drop that king in there um, and they get the clan castle uh, triggered, so we'll have to drop the queen in just a second. They will bust through that wall very quickly. Drops the poison on that clan castle. Bowler's queen go down. Bowler's will do one swipe that those uh, wizards, and then the queen will go ahead and take out the baby dragon. The raged healers will heal that entire kill squad all the way back up to full again. And take a look at the baby dragon at 2 o'clock and then like at 3 o'clock. These baby dragons are going to force that kill squad to stay inside that core instead of trying to bust their way out. And it is they're going to get so much value as that kill squad comes through the base. There we go with another baby dragon. See, they want to come out to the outside, but they can't because the baby dragons are taking out those buildings. So they'll drop another one just a little late at that 330. And that is going to cause some of that kill squad to come out. They are trying to bust through the wall there and get to that laboratory which is not down yet and they bust through the wall just at the last second and uh, they're, they're going to start walking out. Now those P.E.K.K.A.s will go ahead and do the smart thing and start busting through that wall in the core and the king will reroute but the bowlers and the queen will go ahead and do their walk on the outside of the base. In hindsight it actually works out better this way. Uh, they take out the base on the outside while the P.E.K.K.A.s and king take out the base on the inside. Uh, it actually is very very good. Uh, under rage those P.E.K.K.A.s and king are going to just completely annihilate that queen once they bust through the wall which is just right now and they one shot her. Baby dragon will go ahead and get that uh, lonely archer tower up there and uh, we'll take care of that and there we go and uh, now we just have uh, we've got a queen with ability almost a full health queen with ability I think three maybe four Pekka is still in the in, in that uh, inside the base and we've got two point defenses now I don't know about you but uh, I'm taking the odds that uh, that this base is completely crushed and they are going to get the three star um, just too way too many um, troops there to go ahead and get taken out by uh, those couple of defenses. So those one those Pekkas will one shot that cannon, and then everybody else will go ahead and take care of that gold mine. Really cool attack. All right, let's look at our last one. At um, we'll look at a stoned hobo attack on a on a pretty cool like design base. Well, just a different one with all those vertical. Uh, small compartment so it's, it was fun to watch this one get hit by a stone go go hobo we've got the ice wizard again ice wizards are really good troops uh, when you're talking about trying to funnel um, these golems and get them you know get the defense look at that that I that ice wizard right behind that uh, golem and it's going to take out that mortar where normally you would either have to use another wizard or a hog but you can get, be guaranteed that they're going to take out the defense instead of targeting something else so uh, the test wall breaker goes in there. Uh, they're going to go ahead and get into that uh, main compartment. Now the king and, or I'm sorry, the queen and golem are going to start punching through that other compartment. Very fortunate that uh, the kill squad of the king and bowlers get the uh, Valkyries to take because the bowlers will go ahead and take them out really quick. Going to go ahead and quad quake that core wide open. And uh, that one golem is like, peace out. I got a smarter way to go. You all can punch through that wall all you want. But uh, I'm going to make it through with the rest of the And then he comes back and goes, you know what? You all are right. I should have gone that way anyway because that compartment is open. So the queen is going to go ahead and start taking out those defenses. The bowlers and king are still making their way through the rest of the core. They, too, take out the enemy queen. And now we've just got back-end hogs to go ahead and take out the rest of the base. Unfortunately, uh, these hogs are going commando. They have no spells to back them up. So they have got to do their job without uh, running into too many problems or too many bombs. Uh, the queen is the friendly queen goes down right there after using her ability to that, I think, cannon. And then they are going to trip one bomb right here. But fortunately, there is only one expo left. There's no splash damage. So they're going to go ahead and just basically two-shot 
that uh, expo. And then it's just down to the cleanup, and he's got about eight to nine hogs there. Uh, they're going to get that job done without any kind of problem whatsoever, especially with the help of a wizard and uh, archer, so uh, archers. And we've got the three star here. So very, very cool attacks. Uh, at least I got to show two different types of ground attacks, which is great. Um, so hopefully you all enjoyed it. If you have not, uh, like, subscribe, and share it with your clan mates. And, um, you know, go ahead and practice these attacks. Get used to the, the, the army composition, the spell composition, when you deploy them, and when you use your spells and, and why and where. Um, so... Go ahead and use your friendly challenges to try these different attacks. Uh, you know, we in our clan constantly you can see friendly challenges going up every second. And we have got uh, people trying all new types of strategies all the time and, and fine tuning these different types of ones and finding their, their niche. So uh, go ahead and uh, use the friendly challenges, get those six star clan wars and practice those three star attacks.